Hi, and welcome to our video. Reserve Cloud offers to its users what's called lifecycle technology to assist them in automating activities and tasks. This video will go over building a custom lifecycle model or editing one of your existing ones. I'm going to go down here into Settings. And then under the Events area in Settings, there's a section called Event Lifecycle. Again, this video will be covering how to manage the Event Lifecycle. I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. Up at the top, we always want to make sure we're working in our correct division, if there might be more than one. And then we also want to acknowledge the site. Again, things can exist at the master list, meaning that they're shared by all sites if I happen to be a multi-site organization, or they could be done at an individual site level, meaning each site could have different lifecycle selections. I'll go ahead and do this at the master list, meaning if I do have multiple sites, they could certainly share from and pick from my existing lifecycle list. I have some existing life cycles out there right now. You will probably have at least one, if not two, located in your organization as well. But I'm going to create a new one so that we can really go through how it's uh, done from the ground up, and then you'll also, by default, know how to edit it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new life cycle model. I'm going to give it a name, my life cycle model, a description if I'd like, and then I get to select the stages. You can see here that's listed, it's listing all of the stages that we offer. But this is my custom life cycle, so I'm going to design it the way that I would like it right now. I'm going to say that we don't do uh, process, uh, or we don't send proposals. Let's do that. We don't send a proposal. Maybe we don't guarantee it. So all I want to do is process inquiry, tentative, confirm it, complete my event order, actualize it, send my thank you, etc. So I'm just taking out a step or two that I don't feel like I need at this time. I can make this model my default if I would like to. I'll go ahead and save this new model. And now I'm going to edit it. So by editing it, you can see in the gray headers, I have the actual steps. So at process inquiry, there's some fields here that I can edit. And I can do that at each step. So as I build this life cycle, I'm going to edit process inquiry first. First, I'm going to put in a probability at the inquiry stage. What's the probability that I might get this? I'll say it's 20%. Do I want to record a payment at this step? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think so here. Confirm quantities, confirm attendance. This is just inquiry. I'm not quite at that level yet. What task do I want to come at the end of that step? What do I want it to prompt me to do next? I'm going to go ahead and go with my inquiry follow-up task. What documents do I want to present at this particular step? I'm going to choose my inquiry documents. Everything's labeled very clearly for you. That way I have the right tasks, the right documents at the right step. And I'll save that. I'm going to continue to do that for all of the steps. Edit, select the right options. I could also schedule a deposit, say, at the process tentative step. I'll schedule a deposit to happen, maybe I want $1,000, or I could make it a percent, and I want to receive that 14 days following the current date. Again, your option with those particular dates and uh, aspects. I'll save that, and now I've scheduled a deposit. You also have the ability, I'm going to scroll down to the last step, you also have the ability to edit event fields too. So if there's certain fields like a comment or a reason that you want on your page layout, you can drag that over as well. So maybe for my canceled or lost business, I want to know a reason and possibly a comment. I'll save that and those event fields would then pop up at that particular life cycle step. So again, to create a new life cycle or edit an existing, you can go ahead and click edit or new and when you're in here, you're designing the step to do exactly what you want it to do with the applicable activities and tasks. I'll save that. I'll click Done. And that is how we can create or edit those life cycle models. Thanks for watching.